conditions to not be as foggy just a little bit further to the north in Newport. In Coos Bay right now, we are looking at cloudy conditions. No showers out there yet. And Coos Bay, North Bend area, you actually might escape the showers once we head into this afternoon. Current temperature 55 degrees, looking at overcast skies, at least at the North Bend airport. Temperatures across the rest of the area, looking at low to mid 50s right now along the coast. Mid to upper 50s, even at 60 degrees once you get down into Roseburg. 48 in Sun River right now. Bend, you are sitting at 57 degrees. Satellite radar showing a lot of clouds moving across the area and the clouds actually kept our temperatures from falling too far overnight but we're also looking at a few light showers trying to pop up right now just offshore haven't had any reports of it actually making it to the ground just yet but that will change once we get into the next couple of hours low pressure center off the coast of Canada there a cold front extending to the south of this system a lot of rain heading into western Washington but this front is pretty much decaying just to the south of it so as it moves inland into our area not really looking at much, but I'm not saying we'll be completely dry throughout the day today. However, for those of you in the Umpqua Basin and the further south, you actually have a chance to say completely dry today. It's the communities that are further to the north that will have a few light showers out there. So Stormcast, as we head into the next 24 hours, we'll put things in motion into this morning. You can see a few showers trying to pop up here or there. Nothing too impressive. Uh, once again, this is not going to be a big rainmaker. Then as we head into tonight, still keeping the clouds, slight chance for a few showers, but as we head into tomorrow afternoon, things will change a lot. We're looking at more sunshine. But along the coast today, expect things to be mostly cloudy. Showers moving in around lunchtime or maybe even a little bit earlier than that. Temperatures will be into the low 60s, so actually a little bit cooler than what we saw yesterday. The Amco Basin, you're looking at temperatures into the mid-70s, about 10 degrees cooler than what you saw yesterday, keeping it mostly cloudy throughout the day today. For those in the Cascades, over the passes, temperatures near 60 degrees. Foothills closer to about 70 degrees. We'll see showers move in late in the day, just isolated showers. For those in Central Oregon, keeping it mostly cloudy, isolated showers possible very late in the day. Otherwise, temperatures near 70 degrees. For those in the Willamette Valley, temperatures also in the low 70s, keeping it mostly cloudy. Slight chance for showers this afternoon. Nothing too impressive, not expecting a large amount of rain. Here's a look at the 7-day forecast along the coast. Heading into Saturday, we lose the clouds by the afternoon, staying in the low 60s, but those clouds move in as we head into Sunday. Showers starting again around dinner time, and they'll continue into Sunday night night. For those in the Umpqua Basin, you're looking at things to remain dry throughout the weekend and into next week. You're far enough to the south to miss tonight's storm as well as Sunday night storm. Temperatures will be in the mid 70s this weekend, slightly cooling off for Memorial Day. For the Cascades, showers moving in late today. For the weekend, though, Saturday and Sunday, keeping it partly cloudy. Temperatures in the low 60s. Showers do return, though, Sunday night, carrying over into Monday morning for Memorial Day. In the Willamette Valley, showers moving in later today, just isolated showers. By Saturday and Sunday, we dry things out. Partly cloudy skies, low 70s, but rain showers do return late Sunday night into the first part of Memorial Day. Showers should wrap up, though, by the mid-morning, so by the afternoon or the evening for any of your plans. Should be dry. Temperatures will also be not too bad out there, looking at mid-60s.